it really, you know, the, the adage, it takes a village is, is always in the back of our mind here. It does take all of us. It takes the parents, the community, the teachers. We all have to support the students to make sure that we keep that, that momentum and that graduation rate up so that we can then move into the workforce and have a, you know, a successful generation that moves into the next um, phase of the workforce. Increase in numbers obviously was part of that because we were the, the online option for the district uh, due to the pandemic. Um, but I, I think with that came um, an understanding and a responsibility felt by our teachers and our coordinators and our deans and, and everyone, the counselors, to um, really put into place some better supports. So layers of kind of safety net support systems because we don't see our students in person. They don't come here every day. and so. Um, the, the team really stepped it up in terms of the supports we were able to provide. Most students come to us because they need something different. Um, for whatever reason, something just wasn't clicking with their traditional school. Um, so we find, um, we find a lot of our students just this is what they needed, kind of a reset, a refocusing. Um, we try to provide opportunities for us to, you know, we, we do have a student council, we do have art club, we do have esports, we do um, offer motivational Monday, career Mondays. So we do try to offer things to let students kind of interact. Um, but we also have a lot of students that come to us because they have um, serious medical conditions or, you know, just they need to be in a smaller space, a controlled environment. Um, or we have, we have a lot of students who are, um, traveling athletes you know or for whatever reason their their parents work schedule takes them out of town a lot so it really we the the void we fill the hole we fill for um, families looking for just an alternative setting is typically just what they need I think you know some of these support systems we've put into place with um, different layers of support with advisory teachers and coordinators and counselors and the different um, kind of programs we have implemented and the ways that we communicate with our families are definitely something we're refining. We're looking at, um, you know, working to provide more of that in the, in the upcoming years, um, trying to connect students more with each other. The amount of communication that goes out from this office is incredible. Um, so just really stepping up the way that we work with families, what we have to offer in the virtual world, I think was really a contributing factor to our success. We're kind of flexing our schedule next year a little bit to accommodate more of our students with health needs or our students who have um, work schedules, um, pairing more with CNM. So I think just providing a wide range of opportunities for students is probably the most important thing that we want to do to keep that momentum, to keep them engaged, keep them looking towards that next goal um, after graduation. Try like so many different things and find what you're good at, find what you're not good at. I would say to use your resources. Um, there are teachers, especially at Academy, that just want to help you and see you succeed, um, not only academically, but as a person. You know, Academy has, the, the staff here has pulled an incredible weight over the past couple of years with being that online option for the district. And we, we support our full-time students that have come to us, um, but we also support the concurrent or the part-time students that enroll with us to support the graduation rate at the other high schools. Um, and I think, I, you know, I'm, I'm the one here doing this, but I am only a representation of the many people on my staff that have done incredible things over the past couple of years to make sure that um, we were able to support the district and support the families that needed us.